Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's fur video, day 10 will take us to the 30th of December and we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the uh, Senator Affairs. These uh, show ensembles, maybe I'm trying a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for January and I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video set was our 6 cent UK weather forecast. And we've also released Jamie Friday as well. Check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. For Gaz Weatherly, thank you so much everyone. Uh, just say we're going to have a pub run live tonight, I think. So it's been ages and ages and ages since I had a Friday night live stream due to all of Gaz's various um, illnesses <laughs> and whatnot, trials and tribulations. But uh, I think we're going to go live tonight. So if you want a couple of laughs, I may have been a magic water and a mince pie. And uh, I shall see you at uh, 10.30 this evening. Going to be epic. Epic, epic, epic. Um, no, see you a little bit later on, everyone. Uh, just say again that uh, if you're enjoying the content on the channel at the moment, have enjoyed it throughout the year, then uh, can you consider giving a little donation to uh, Gaz Weatherford in our PayPal page or through our PayPal page? Link is in the description with the video. Oh, uh, if you send a donation for the Gals Weathers, we will give you a shout out in the video and say hello and Merry Christmas to you. And maybe you want to shout out for somebody else, a friend, you know, family member, partner, etc., etc. Um, that's no problem at all either. So uh, just let us know who you want to say hello and Merry Christmas to. And uh, we're more than happy to do that. And thank you so much, everyone, for your donations. Love it. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, having a lovely Friday. Right, going to start off with a CT. Central in temperature is uh, currently sitting at 7.2. That's uh, getting on for 3 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. And it's provisional to yesterday, to the 19th of December. Very mild December yet again. These are the GFS upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We'll card it today, red line. Is the virtue of air temperature average for Cardiff? So, I've got about average of your air temperature at the moment. They're going to be coming down over the weekend. Bit of a cold snap on Sunday. Only very briefly, though, really mild as we go into Christmas. A bit of slow and gradual decline in the upper air temperatures as we head towards and into the new year. Precipitation wise, there's going to be some shower showery weather to come over the weekend, then dry over Christmas, wet weather coming back into the new year, oh, cooler and wetter perhaps as we start January. Temperature anomaly, December 20th for December 28th above average, a mild average week to come, and precipitation anomaly, December 20th, 28th for December, most areas dry and average, but a, whip, a bit wetter than average through western parts of Scotland. The latest wind from that from Earth, northschool.net shows that we're drawing in a westerly wind, uh, today, from off the Atlantic, plenty of low pressure in the uh, North Atlantic. And as I say, uh, westerly winds with a trough of low pressure bringing further showery rain tomorrow. This low up here will actually turn things a little bit stormy as it moves in to the north of Scotland. Right, let's go for the chart data then. This is our latest UK Met Euro run. It's looking big night on Monday. Rather cold with winds in from a north or northwest direction. But they're back into the southwest midnight Tuesday, Christmas Eve, with a warm front wafting much farther air across the country. That's Christmas Day. At midnight, we've got high pressure around the Bay of Biscay and France. Low pressure around Iceland. It's a classic mild setup, drawing up a southwesterly wind from the Azores. And then that high pressure gradually drifting its way northwards through Boxing Day into Friday. Perhaps increasing the risk of some fog patches down in the south and some cooler temperatures as well. But same very mild for Scotland and Ireland with winds still from the southwest. Icon, once more, has that. Pretty chilly northwesterly on Monday, but winds into southwest through Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, high pressure gradually building up from the south into Boxing Day. Could bring some fog down the south, depends if the sky's clear or not. And then the high pressure increasingly strengthening as you get to the end of next week, probably with the, uh, with some cooler continental air drifting in from uh, below countries. <coughs> 
excuse me, as well, <coughs> some cooler content uh, uh, drifting in from low countries and perhaps an increase in risk of some bog and frost in England and Wales, but Scotland and uh, Northern Ireland kicks the south westy game, so staying pretty mild. But some of KMA is looking, so again, we've got those winds going into the south west for Christmas, and then high pressure builds up from the south, perhaps bring some frost and fog to England and Wales, but Scotland and Northern Ireland keeps it unsettled. Heading towards the new year, low pressure deepening to the north of Scotland, so perhaps only a bit wet and winding just before the new year. And uh, that gets us today to New Year's Day, actually 2am at New Year's Day, January 1st, 2025. We're looking wet and windy, but cold rain is trying to come in um, from the north. So that's a very wet, but also windy start to 2025. Goodness gracious me. Right, well, let's have a GFS 6 there. No, big tight run is looking. Um, high pressure is out to southwest. Low pressure north east bring down that cold. Northwest wind on Monday. We've got wind in from southwest to Christmas. It's going to be a very mild Christmas, as we've been stating. Then high pressure strengthens over into the east of country Thursday and Friday. It might bring the chance of some fog down in the south, depending on whether the sky is clear or not. Heading into uh, day 10, begin to turn a bit more unsettled from the Atlantic again. And then in the same range, well, wet and windy as we start 2025. That's midday, New Year's Day, looking properly wet and windy there. Uh, but also very mild. Um, and then uh, we're back into slightly cooler, but still unsettled weather through the first week of January. How does a 6 set look by comparison? Again, wind's coming in from a pretty chilly northwesterly direction. On Monday, then we bat the wind into southwest through Tuesday and Wednesday. High pressure strengthening at the end of the week might bring uh, a risk of some uh, fog and, you know, it could be gloomy, anti gloom as well. Um, beyond that, probably low pressure starting to head in towards day 10. Unsettled for New Year, but also pretty mild, wet and windy. Eventually, the six head does start to uh, bring some cold air in from the north of the northeast. That's the 5th of January, very long way out as far as we get to. But we have got a ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic then. And the wind is coming in from a colder north or northeasterly. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please you like, share and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for dear Matt. Why not drop a comment and let us know if you help this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc, uh, etc, etc. Et Thank you so much everyone for uh, dear Matt. We've gone past 19.2k. We're going to try and push on to 19.3k uh, next. So please give us a sub. So much everyone for dear Matt. 20k would be epic. But, uh, you know, we might have a while to wait for that. It just depends what sort of uh, January and February the weather gods give us, I guess. But anyway, please give us a sub. Thank you so much everyone uh, for doing uh, that. I hope you're having a lovely Friday. Right, okay, GM. We're winds in the northwest, rather cold and showery on Monday. But into those mild southwest winds for Tuesday and Wednesday. Chris Steve, Chris Day. Boxing Day into a uh, Friday, gradually building that high pressure up from the south. Could cause an inversion down in the south and bring an increased risk of some uh, fog. We're back into those milder, but perhaps slightly more unsettled southwesterly, west Lizzie um, by Monday, the third ship of seven, day 10. And then lastly, we've got the East End looking like this, rather chilly with northwesterly winds. On Monday, heading in through Tuesday and Wednesday, higher pressure moving up from the south, looking uh, very mild for Christmas Eve and also Christmas Day as well. High pressure in strengthens just to the south, but south of us on Boxing Day might bring some fog down in the south. We'll have to wait and see about that. And then heading into the end of next week and into the last weekend of the year. Um, unlike the other ones, it doesn't turn unsettled, actually. We just keep a ridge close. So it's probably an increasing risk of uh, fog patches, especially for England and Wales, and um, maybe some quite cold nights there as we get to day 10. Beyond that, the HM does turn things more unsettled and eventually start pulling in some colder air in the north of the New Year as well. Um, that's how we going to get to the end of the East Shem run there, press coming back in from off the Atlantic. But that's increasing signs of uh, some chillier weather, maybe, as we move into the new year. Right, well, this is how the precipitation forecast based on the East Shem run up to day 10. Looking for to bed, come showery rain clearing through this afternoon and into the ceiling for a showery rain. In from the Atlantic for uh, tomorrow. Uh, then we've got wintry showers into the north and west. Some of them penetrating inland on Sunday. 
are back to a much mild wind today through Christmas Eve. A lot of cloud and showery bursts of rain as well. Christmas Day also looking mainly dry. And then we head on beyond that. And uh, we've got some showery bursts towards the north of the west. But also a lot of dry weather between Christmas and New Year. Probably suggesting a fair amount of cloud under that ridge. Uh, be, this is the option on the table. Within the East Shem on Sol day for day 10. The Icelandic Metropolis gets us to the third ship of 10, which by the line went wonky. 51 out of 51 members of the East Shem on Sol with high pressure in the Atlantic through West Europe and perhaps going up towards green low pressure to uh, the north. And winds may be coming in from a west sea direction. It's mainly dry up to day 10 there, I have to say. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 4th of January, 27 members of the East um, on top of high pressure to the west and to the northwest, a trough to the east. Um, kind of on the periphery of some much colder air digging in from uh, the north there. And um, they've got 24 with low pressure to the northeast, high pressure towards Greenland, Iceland. That's trying to bring down the northerly. But we do also have higher pressure to the south as well, that wants to maintain a southwesterly uh, wind. However, the, the majority option now is actually the 27. Um, that looks like a cold option as well. We're very, very close there uh, to bring in uh, a cold northerly flow. So the new year perhaps needs watching uh, for a chance of a cold snap. That is something that we cover within uh, JMA Friday today. Right, CFS finally for January and latest 700 millibar height anomaly looks like this. Maybe charts change daily, but CFS has been very consistent with this over the past few weeks. So the idea is still what it has been throughout this month, which is a high pressure to be dominating from the Azores. Interest Europe, low pressure is up here. Jet stream is rising to our north as well. It means that the temperature anomaly in January is above average if the forecast is right, one to two degrees above normal, and no sig signal precipitation. But I would suspect a, a mix of uh, at times uh, unsettled, but also at times settled conditions with an Atlantic flow. Well, I'll wait and see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please give you a like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Oh, it's dark, isn't it? Um, better put some Christmas lights on in a minute. Why not drop a comment? And uh, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Dad's Lovers. Get them to subscribe to and we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, I'll tell you what's happening on the channel tomorrow. Don't forget, we've got Pub Run Live coming up tonight at half ten. So I'll see you for a couple of uh, laughs with that one. On the over weekend, tomorrow, we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We will have the weekend forecast. will be easy 42 day of UK and Iron and a 10 to 14 day of 2. And then on Sunday, again, it'll all kick off 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Probably a 10 to 14 day at some point through the early afternoon. And then we should be live at 6 p.m. on on Sunday evening uh, with a proper hour-long live stream, something I'll not be able to do for a little while, proper hour-long live stream, and uh, we'll have a chat, you know, hang out, and um, we'll probably do ensembles watching that as well as having a look at the 12 set. So lots to look forward to over the weekend, the uh, last weekend before Christmas. Um, you enjoy the rest of your Friday. Maybe I'll see you a little bit later on for the pub run, uh, but for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.